In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a concept slide where uh, two businessmen standing in front of the big screen and watching uh, this uh, the project timeline chart. You can see here I've added the timeline chart which I've created few months back on my tutorial and I've just created some shadow effect here and I've added the shadow effect of the screen also. So this is one example and you can just replace this text with some uh, moving images also. For example, let me just show you when i click it goes to the next one and you can see here i have added this uh, the earth view uh, from the space and then when i click it will start moving you can see here and if you want you can just add some text or some uh, uh, other information also if required and apart from that one i have made it one more where they are analyzing the data you can see here something like that and one more where I've just added some gradient screen here. You can see this gradient screen also it's moving and if you want to add some text also you can add it here. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to make this one and if you are using the older version like 2007 and 2010, some features might not be available. So uh, I all highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill. Let me just go to right mouse click, click on the format background and I am going to select the gradient fill. Here I have, you can see here I have used a two color combination, a blue a gray color combination. It's up to you which color you like to uh, add it here. Then I'm going to add one uh, rectangle. So go to shapes and select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. You can give any color. I'm just going to give this aqua color and uh, place it exactly in the center or uh, any way whichever you feel comfortable then i'm going to give some kind of a perspective look for that i'm going to go to the effects and here uh, click on the 3d rotation from the presets uh, from the perspective i'm going to choose this one perspective uh, left you can see here and then you can just uh, play with these properties uh, the rotation x y z and perspective here you can see here if I want more I can just move it like this so depending on my requirement you need up and down you can see here how you need you can just play with this one so let it be like this all right so this is my screen which I'm going to add it here if you want you can just make it 25 also not a problem all right so here you have to go to 3d rotation and then you have to just play with this all right now once this is done I'm going to add some shadow effect for this for that let me just go to insert shapes and I'm going to select a freeform shape from here select the freeform shape and here from this one I'm just going to drag it a little bit you can see here till here all right and then I can just make it till here and then attach it it looks something like this okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to choose the same color but i'm just going to increase the transparency here so you can see here it looks kind of a, a shadow effect here and i'm going to use uh, two uh, characters which i have uh, created in adobe uh, illustrator so i'm just going to use that one here and before that you can just uh, right mouse click and if you want to change the screen layout also you can just click on the edit point and you can just see here this small orange point you can just drag this also and this also you can just edit the point and then depending on your requirement you can just adjust it according to the requirement so once this is done i'm just going to uh, paste the two uh, the png files you can see here these two images so let me just go to format and rotate it here all right and then i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here something like any image you can just choose if you have icon also you can just make it i'm going to place it here and this also i'm just going to reduce it 
increase the height and then I'm going to place it here as if these two persons are looking at the screen and then let's add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select this or I can just choose a freeform shape also let me just zoom in so this shadow effect should start from here something like this all right and then it will I'm just attaching this one shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to use a gradient fill gradient fill I'm going to choose a uh, both side I'm going to choose black color you can see here and one side I'm going to make it fully transparent all right or the transparent I have to select this one and make it transparent you can see here something like this and this also I'm going to make somewhat transparent all right and if you can just move it this also here you can see here and I'm just going to place it here something like this and press ctrl D and for this also I'm making a shadow effect so you can see here the shadow effect has been created now uh, it's up to you whether you want to add one image or you want to add some pictures some icons some text on this one for example I'm going to choose my uh, project timeline chart which I did some few months back so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of this press ctrl C to copy come to the slide where I'm going to paste it right mouse click and paste as an image here you can see here and this is I'm just going to reduce the size and then I can go to the 3d uh, format you can see here 3d format and then I'm just going to make it the same which is the perspective left and here you can see here I can just make it more increase the size and I'm going to place it here let me just reduce it you can see here and I'm going to select all of this the shadow as well as this person and bring to front so you can see here uh, something like this you can add or if you want to make some moving images there or some uh, video you want to add it you can do it something like this what you can do it for example let me just duplicate this one right mouse click duplicate the slide you can see here I'm going to delete this all right and then I'm going to change the background color to solid fill white color here okay let it be white color for the time being then go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to choose the gradient fill all right and then send this to back so as if it is looking the same as a slide one the only difference is we have added the rectangle here now select this rectangle and ho hold the shift key select this shape then go to format merge shape i can just make it subtract so when you subtract it looks something like this this area got cut all right then what i'm going to do is i can just add any image at the background for example let me just choose uh, this image all right i'm just going to choose this image Control c and let me close this one go to animations enable the animation pane and Control v by default this animation has been copied let me just delete the animation select this one go to format and send this to back all right so we can see here only this is visible and make sure that this is no i'm not going to choose no outline here all right now here example i'm going to place the image something like this and i'm the image has to move towards left for example so go to the animations add animation go to more motion path and i'm going to choose left you can see here click ok it is very fast and here also you can just make sure that select this one and here till here i'm just going to move it all right then double click this remove the smooth start smooth end go to the timings make it extremely slow and click ok all right so now you can see here i've created two slides one is this one let me just show you it looks something like this with a still image and the other one it looks something like this you can see here all right so depending on your requirement you can just add any text here if you want to add some text you can go to insert shapes 
and I can just add some callouts also here. You can see here some callouts. I can just add it here. So this person is saying something. You can just add some text. So anything of your choice, you can just add it here. 